Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our tale. Tonight, we're diving into a world where the evening's embrace and flickering candlelight set the stage for a potluck gathering like no other. Picture this, a table adorned with vibrant dishes, each one a masterpiece of color and aroma. The air is thick with anticipation, a crackling energy that mirrors the spices in the dishes. Our characters are about to embark on a journey of flavors and friendships, where every dish tells a story. So, buckle up and get ready to savor the rich tapestry of experiences that await. Let's dive in. As the evening deepened, the flickering candlelight cast a warm glow over the potluck table, transforming the vibrant array of dishes into a tapestry of colors and aromas. Alara, with her fiery red hair catching the light, stood at the head of the table. Her heart raced as she watched her friends gather around. The air was thick with anticipation, a palpable energy that crackled like the spices in her dish. Beside her stood Finian, his soft, wavy brown hair and warm hazel eyes reflecting the gentle glow. His urban-fused creation exuded a calming scent, a stark contrast to Alara's spicy offering. The tension from earlier lingered, but a flicker of hope began to replace it as the friends exchanged glances filled with unspoken understanding. Leora, her wild, curly hair shimmering with hues of green and gold, leaned in closer, her bright eyes sparkling with mischief. You know, Alara, your dish looks like it could set the whole table ablaze, she teased, a playful grin on her face. Alara felt a rush of warmth at Leora's words, a reminder that beneath their rivalry, lay a foundation of friendship. Jasper, ever the diplomat, stepped forward, his neatly styled dark hair and sharp features illuminated by the candlelight. Let's not forget, every dish tells a story. Perhaps we should share ours before we dive in. As the friends began to share their stories, the atmosphere shifted from tension to warmth. Alara spoke of her family's culinary legacy, the weight of expectations that had always felt like a burden. Finian, his voice steady yet vulnerable, revealed his fear of conflict, a shadow from his past that had kept him from expressing his true self. Leora, with a newfound softness, shared her journey of independence, admitting that vulnerability was not a weakness but a strength. Jasper, with his charming smile, acknowledged the privilege he held and the disconnect it created, vowing to bridge the gap between their diverse backgrounds. The sage of flavors, who had been quietly observing, finally spoke, her voice a melodic whisper that seemed to resonate with the very essence of the gathering. Gratitude is not just about what we bring to the table, but about the connections we forge through our differences. Each dish represents a piece of your heart, a fragment of your journey. Embrace it, 